Uh, in this video, I will be discussing the Daydream VR. So, this is the Daydream VR website, and here are the two current phone families that are compatible with the Pixel XL and the Pixel from Google. And these are new, new incomings, the Moto C series, which are exclusively on Verizon, so it's pretty shaky. And both of these phones are relatively expensive from around $600 and up. So I bought a ZT Axon 7 because they promised that it will have danger in VR capability. And it has four gigabytes of RAM, Snapdragon 820, 2K screen, and great speakers and a nice battery. So I, so I figured that it will receive the daydream update and that's what they said till they stopped, uh, having the claim. But there's still hope. There's, you need it. one of the requirements that is definitely positive is that you need that Android Nougat, and my phone will be getting it soon. And ZT has been in talks with Google over this series, so hopefully it's going to happen. So I also wanted to point out that uh, that an additional requirement is to have an AMOLED display, and even though the LG V20 has NuGet and many other high specs, it has an IPS display, so it will not work with Daydream. Although there's a rumor that you could still use Daydream, but it won't be certified, so the phone might overheat and other things like that. In summary, here's the list of the Daydream VR minimum requirements. And this has been compiled by Android Central because Google made a PDF that all the companies need to comply with if they want to be Daydream VR ready. And instead of going through all 85 pages of this, I'll just follow their list and I'll leave it in the description and give them credit. So firstly, before all these, you need to have Android Nougat. Secondly, you can have Bluetooth 4.2 LE, that's low energy, and this is so your phone could be compatible with the remote control that comes with the Daydream. Secondly, it's the display between 4.7 and 6 inches, and that's to maintain a good fit with the Daydream and to make it actually worth it to watch. Thirdly is the 1080p display at 60 hertz with 3 milliseconds or less latency and 5 milliseconds or less persistence. And a Quad HD or higher is recommended, but obviously not required. And this is so that you won't have too much pixelation or get nausea from having lagging on your phone. This is OpenGL ES 3.2 and Vulkan. These are two software frameworks that help with 3D graphics. And it makes sense because Daydream VR will be generating things on the fly. And next is able to decode two instances of 60 frames per second video simultaneously. And sometimes it's pretty self-explanatory. Next is the consistent 60 FPS rendering. And this is also to not cause lagging or any of that to ruin your experience. And lastly, it's the temperature sensor capable of reading device surface temperature. And this is because in the Google Cardboard one, I would take my phone out after five minutes of using it, my phone would be very hot and it's not good for the battery and just for the user experience. So this site, hopefully they'll have a better way to deal with the heat management. Thank you for watching and have a great day.